how they can suppress it. So now first thing is when this regulatory T cell comes in contact with the autoreactive cell. So this cell, just for an example, maybe it recognizes spleen. So this, they can produce IL-10, TGF-beta and IL-35. All of these are called as immunosuppressive cytokines. Okay, so they will, you can see the red sign, they will block the function of this autoreactive cell and it will, you know, the cell cycle will arrest, so their numbers will not increase. That's number one. Number two, you remember that IL-2 is very important for proliferation of T cells. All the T cells, they need IL-2 for their proliferation. It can act as a sponge and absorb all the IL-2 in the environment. So for example, this is autoreactive cell, this is regulatory cell, it will take up, absorb all the IL-2 in the environment, so T cell does not have IL-2 for proliferation. Then number three, in one of your uh, this immune response to virus, you know, there was a word cytotoxic T lymphocyte. And I told you that CD8 cells normally are CD8, then they become killer cells. And when they become killer cells, we call them CTL, cytotoxic T lymphocyte. Is there any other example of cytotoxic T lymphocyte? Natural killer cell. This is the third example of cytotoxic T lymphocyte. So the regulatory T cell, whenever they come in contact with autoreactive cell, they also produce granzymes. So now you should know there are three uh, cytotoxic T lymphocyte, CD8 cells, natural killer cells and regulatory T cells. They all are cytotoxic T lymphocytes. And four and the final one is that they sometimes go to the dendritic cells. You know some dendritic cells who may present the autoreactive antigen. They go and stop them. This CTLA4, this one, this is the stopping signal. And then this dendritic cell will no more activate this. So if you look again, I'll just review all these. First, Regulatory T cell can produce immunosuppressive cytokines, IL-10, IL-35, TGF-beta. They can eat up or absorb all the IL-2. They can be cytotoxic for autoreactive T cell. And finally, they can stop the dendritic cell from functioning. They tell them no more present the antigen. Now, we discussed what is tolerance, what is central tolerance in the thymus, what is peripheral tolerance with the help of regulatory T cell. Now, what are the possible, you know, uh, situations if central tolerance was not good, if peripheral tolerance was not good. So this particular slide is telling you that effector cells, autoreactive cells, if they are blocked by regulatory T cell, there is no autoimmune disease. So you will hear a lot in your clinical years, autoimmune, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus, myasthenia gravis, all those occur because this autoreactive T cell has not been killed or blocked. So when it comes to the system, it will result in autoimmune disease. Now here are a few examples that maybe the Tregs are absent, they are not produced, that is one situation. Another is they are not functioning properly, insufficient. Or number three, the, reg the autoreactive cells are not blocked, so they are resistant. They cannot be blocked by regulatory T cells. As a result, what you will have? Autoimmune disease. Now one small part of B cells is left, we talked all about T cell, they come out of bone marrow, go to the thymus, get matured and come out as mature, naive T lymphocytes. What happens to B cells? B cells have got their maturation in the bone marrow. Again more or less the same things if a B cell recognizes an autoreactive cell it will be destroyed apoptosis that's number one number two receptor editing so you make a video you don't like some portions you cut it chop it and make it edited edited version is different same as this a uh, B cell receptor recognizes a autoreactive antigen or uh, autoantigen the body will do you know, splicing of the genes and the receptor shape will be changed. This is called as receptor editing. It no more recognizes the body antigen, the kidney antigen or spleen. This is receptor editing. Number two, 
sometimes they will switch you know like T cells were switched off B cells can be switched off as well so that is energy and finally most of the B cells they need help from T cells for class switching is that correct yes. so imagine if a T cell that was supposed to help the B cell itself has been deleted it's no more in the system so who will help that B cell that B cell is no more you know functional it will not class switch so no danger so some of the T cell tolerance will help the B cell indirectly as well yeah it does but at, of a different type you know and normally there is a recombination activation gene rag one which occurs in somatic hypermutation that is a different place and different type but the one that occurs in the bone marrow that for receptor editing for simplicity you can think of same thing when there is affinity maturation and that special structure is maintained that will happen more or less the same here they, but for different reasons there you want the best fit here you want no fit you know there you want the receptor to bind very strongly for affinity maturation here when it little binds you want to change the shape so that it does not bind at all now we'll just see what is autoimmunity autoimmunity is when your body immune system starts to attack you if I'm asking you what are the possible reasons simply you should say a problem in the central tolerance possibly so auto reactive cells came out a problem in the bone marrow so the B cells auto reactive B cells came out or the regulatory cells they are not performing their functions so that's why you have autoimmunity about one to two percent of the you know uh, world population has got autoimmune diseases and there are three principal factors that are considered either susceptible genes so one good example is if there is mutation of air gene the people will have autoreactive you know cells in the body so autoimmunity then if regulatory cell genes they are destroyed or mutated again regulatory cell will not perform its function you will have disease then sometimes the environmental fa factors I'll show you here you can see these three circles genes are responsible the environmental factors are in responsible and immune re de defective immune regulation now on the top if there is gene susceptible or there is failure of tolerance or on the other hand there are certain environmental stimuli I'll give you the example you will then better understand this four situations molecular mimicry epitope spreading loss of suppression sequestered antigen and new antigens I'll just start one by one sequestered antigens have you all heard of rheumatoid arthritis no one so it's a disease of the joints okay small disease of the joints they get destroyed so it's a destructive joint disease it involves both sides of the hand so it's a symmetrical disease and it's an autoimmune disease of course now in this one of the thing doctors always measure is is called as rheumatoid factor so from rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid factor what is rheumatoid factor IgM antibodies against IgG so IgGs are produced in all of us imagine if our own IgM start to attack IgG okay this situation and those immune complexes IgG IgM IgG IgM they get deposited in the joints or there is destruction to the joints as a result of this activation so now in this picture I'll show you normally when a, a, an IgG is produced it is like this heavy chain light chain but whenever it recognizes an antigen sometimes their shape slightly changes you can see can you see a difference between this and this figure anything which is different sorry receptor which this one it is not expressed here but it is expressed here this is called as something which was hiding because you know what is conformational change proteins they can change their shape so when there is no antigen in the body IgG looks like this but when an antigen comes it binds to its uh, antigen binding site it changes its shape it express carbohydrate 
these antigens and IgM in the body will recognize them and start to attack them okay this is the mechanism in rheumatoid arthritis so first thing is when there is epitope outside it is not bound no expression of this protein then when it binds there is conformational change and IgM recognizes it it starts to attack it and this you know immune complexes when create further disease so sequestered means hiding or accumulated in some part <clears throat> another example we'll see of molecular mimicry have you heard that children when they have got sore throat they are very prone to develop mitral heart disease so mitral valve of the heart they can be destroyed or their kidneys can be affected that's why children less than 12 years of age if they have got streptococcal throat infection you have to treat them immediately have you heard about this no one so all the children who have got septococcus throat infection less than 12 years of age they are prone to develop heart disease valve you know valves there are tricuspid valves bicuspid valves mitral valve they can be destroyed and as a result they will have you know arrhythmias and ventricular fibrillation so this disease is because of molecular mimicry now what is molecular mimicry this blue structure belongs to bacteria okay streptococcus bacteria and this cell is of heart you can see this red shape this shape is similar to this shape so the shape on bacteria is similar to the shape on the heart valves okay so when somebody has got throat infection antibodies will be produced against the bacteria but what will they do they will attack the heart valves so you can see in this figure the m protein m protein is destroyed maybe you know the throat infection is gone or maybe it's during the phase but these antibodies start attacking the heart valves and they destroy the heart valves that's why the patients start to have you know regurgitation aortic regurgitation heart valves valvular heart disease so this is the example of molecular mimicry what does the mimicry word means copying so the bacterial structure is copying the heart structure there is molecular similarity between the two that's why immune system is confused he produced the antibodies against the bacteria when the bacteria is gone or when the bacteria is still there they start to attack heart valves so there is similarity in structure between the heart valves and the bacteria this concept is called as molecular mimicry now just to give you an idea that how many autoimmune diseases are present and you will we'll discuss as much as possible with you endocrine diseases are there autoimmune gi diseases are there these are some of the names you have heard of type 1 diabetes it occurs because of the autoimmunity the immune system destroys the beta cells then hashimoto thyroiditis the thyroid gland is damaged graves disease is also a molecular mimicry thing and in the GIT if you have heard of celiac disease inflammatory bowel disease autoimmune hepatitis these are the GI autoimmune diseases and finally the neuromuscular diseases are multiple sclerosis GBS and myasthenia gravis so we'll discuss a lot of these you know gradually as one of uh, you know as the lectures come so here's the summary you know we talked about the immunological tolerance and its significance central and peripheral tolerance then how the central and peripheral tolerance of b cell take place and finally the principal factors of autoimmunity any questions <coughs>